Hello everybody and welcome back to Purbeck. So as I predicted in the previous episode, it has snowed. And there's even snow on the roads. The thing is we could clear the roads, but it's going to snow again later on this afternoon. So is it really worth it? I suppose, yes, if it was the real world, it is indeed worth it to allow all the traffic to pass. But we're driving tractors, so we should be alright. Uh, although, yes, if it does get too deep anywhere, we can scrape it a bit. We do have the uh, the wheel loader, but we do need to focus on a few things. We've first of all got the cows to check up on. They are doing pretty good. They're producing the milk, and they're also producing our slurry. So let's just quickly check the slurry. Oh, wow, 16,600 litres. We're doing very well out of them. So as soon as the snow has melted, we can spread slurry on the field again. But I guess we want to really focus on this pit. Do we really need 69,000 litres of silage? I don't think so. Especially as we have some already. Okay, let's just try and scoop this up. The snow may confuse it a little bit. There we go. It's fine. And the tractor and trailer is still over at the cell point. It's such a crisp morning. How lovely. Yeah, so I better get it back. It's just over here. Uh, we will have made some more money overnight because it was actually processing our silage in the BGA. If we have a look at the production chains, uh, you can actually see that we're still uh, making money. There's still 26,600 litres of silage to process and we have 12,300 litres of digestate, which of course we can dispense and we can, we can spread it on the field just like this slurry. It is cold. Hmm, there's even snow on this road. I didn't think it would actually get much deeper, but the snow really has got deeper down this road. This lane is really covered. So we might have to do a bit of snow ploughing when we've done our main jobs. We are pretty much going to be flying through the winter, I think, because we don't have much to do except for looking after the cows. But we must make sure the cows are looked after properly so that we produce as much milk as possible. Right, okay. And as soon as we do get through to probably March time, I have cover crops to be drilling. But before we can do that, we do need to make sure the fields are spread with slurry. Or digestate. Okay, right. So let's load this up. It's a pretty big trailer, but I think we can probably do one full load. Hmm, I'm on the wrong side. I'll just turn around here. Okay. And <laughs> we're already building the snow on the tyres. They're looking frosty. I'll keep an eye on how full the pit is. If it's getting really low, like just 20,000 litres left, then I will stop. I think it would be best to leave about 20,000, because bear in mind we're still going to be producing more silage in the spring, so it's only to get us through the winter. We should have some silage bells left. So even with this loadout, we still have 53,000. Should be alright to take a full load. And it can go into the BG, unless the price is dropping dramatically, which it might be. In which case, we'll just take it to the other cell point, which is next to the BGA. But I'll decide on that when we actually get over there.
that was really slippery in places. Much more slippery than I was expecting. You can see where we parked overnight. Anyway, yeah, I've just checked and this is the best place to take it to. The price is still really good at both, but there's only a few pounds in it. And by the time it's processed this at the BGA, the price will probably be even lower than what it is now. So we'll just get it sold in one big bulk load and we may be able to repay some of the loan today. I don't think we are expected to repay it in one big load. That would be a bit extreme. You tend to repay it in installments so we can get rid of some of it. That's good. It's all for that combine, that's why we have the loan. So we still have a £120,000 loan. Let's repay... Yeah, 40000 should be good. So we're still left with 67500 in our bank. But there is more money coming back in because it's still processing it at the BGA, so that's already promising. As for the wheel loader that we have, I don't know if I should keep it or not. I think it'd be nice to have a wheel loader, but I think we'll probably have to go with a older one. Because that newer one is going to be pretty expensive to keep. And we do have a front loader, so we should be alright. So I think it's going to have to go. I'm going to head over to the council now and pick up a snowplow for free. We get to borrow it for free if we clear the road, so uh, we should be able to clear the lane as we head back up to the farm. But it does look very beautiful in the snow. I don't know why the main roads aren't cleared. Come on council, what do we pay you for? Okay, looks like our money is still coming in from the BGA. Right, this is the first lane that we can do. And I've got it angled, so hopefully the snow is just going to be pushed off the road. Ah, oh, yes, that's working brilliantly. Look at that. Fantastic. It's quite a big build-up of snow here. Look at this. Oh, <laughs> we want to clear the road, not the verge. That's why we have the plough after all. But that is working well, except for the odd hop. I guess that's where there's a junction in the road. Satisfying. It's very rare that I get to do any snow clearing. So it makes a nice change. Right, there's a few bends. It actually gets thicker as we get closer to the yard. Bit of a hill. Got a plough going uphill. Yeah, just get the old hop. Maybe it's when it gets full, like really overloaded, possibly. I didn't think it would be so easy. I thought it would, you know, stop, stop clearing it and you'd have to keep backing up. But it seems overall very reliable. Except for the hop. Ah, well that put a dampener on things. The sun came out and melted the snow. Yeah, that's what we need to implement next time. I know it's lovely to have snow and everything, but now instead of it just vanishing, like deep snow vanishing in one second, they need to have thawing. So it gradually melts away. There are so many more things that can be done to make this game even more realistic. But as I said, there is more snow on the way, so I'm sure we'll be using this plough again, even though what I just did ended up being fairly pointless, but it was still fun. So let's just check the uh, the weather. Yeah, in fact, one o'clock is when it starts. It'll probably start settling around three or four. Uh, and next month is snowy as well. But now that that's melted, it's actually really good for us. It means that we can start to apply slurry or digestate to the fields. So if I just park this here, we can jump into this tractor. It has one job, and that is to spread poop. It's a poop spreader professionally. So we're back up to the pit. Uh, obviously, I don't want to forget about the digestate. We'll definitely be using it at some point. There's no rush, because we will certainly consume all the slurry again so it's like our backup but 
here we go. We still have the field on the hill to finish. And when I last did it, it was dark. And I think I made a bit of a mess. Okay, I can't make the turn, so I'm going to have to back up. There we go. And as soon as the grass starts growing, we can apply some slurry to there as well, to the grass fields. But this is the one which is work in progress, as you can see. Here we go. It feels like a different day now to that winter wonderland we started in. But that's just the way it goes. The sun obviously has plenty of heat in it. Out of interest, what temperature is it? Three, okay. Well, yeah, it would have thawed. Up to five. Actually, maybe it won't settle again because it says it's going to be snowing at five degrees. It's going to freeze again tonight. So who knows? Maybe that is the end of the snow for the winter. It's probably too early to tell. But it seems right. Very realistic, I must say, for the UK. Well, for England. If you're lucky enough to get some snow, it soon melts. Unless you get one of those more unusual uh, snowfalls, like in 2018 and 2010, when we actually did get some pretty decent snow. Very rare. But in 2010, here in the east of England, we got uh, 11 inches, which was amazing. It's the most I've ever seen. And in 2018, we got 7 inches, which was still amazing. And nothing since. No snow at all. So that was... Uh, well, it, it, that's why it's fun when it comes, because <laughs> it's so unusual. Right, let's finish the field. There is a lot to do in total, however, thankfully, because of the power of green manure, we only have to do one application. So 44 will have green manure drilled into it, it will be uh, oilseed radish in March time, then it can be drilled with uh, corn or maize, well, same thing, in um, probably May, April, May. And 35 needs to be spread now to get the one application, 41 needs to be done. And then throughout the spring we can focus on the grass fields, like 42, and uh, well, 60 I think is the uh, cow pasture. 36 though, that will need to be done. So there is loads to do. Let's go to the smaller field just up here first. And we have run out of slurry. It doesn't take long to consume it all, so we can head over to the BGA and get some digestate once we've emptied this. But I think there's only 12,000 litres over there, so yeah, that'll be consumed fairly quickly as well. But we've got the whole winter to go out, so they're going to keep producing slurry, so hopefully by the spring, all the fields that need an application will get an application. And the best thing about this is, except for the diesel that we're using, it's free. It's just a byproduct of the cows who are producing money for us in other ways, such as milk. We could be breeding them to sell, but yeah, I'm just going to keep them as uh, dairy cows. Uh, right, that is definitely applying, that's looking good. It's glistening in the sunlight. We should certainly have enough slurry and digestate to do this field and to start another field.
But once we have run out, I guess that'll be the time to rest. down thick and fast now. Right, so we are filling up with digestate. Once I've filled it we'll see how much we have left. Because we've taken out ten and a half thousand litres. Okay, so remaining is just five thousand. So there's not an awful lot here. But yep, yeah, then we can go back to slurry hopefully. In the next month. <laughs> that wiper's going above the cab roof. It's going the wrong way. Well, that was slow. <laughs> it's taken ages to get back here. I don't think I actually got above 11 miles per hour. So I think if we're gonna be doing longer distance karting, we need to get another tanker or put the tanker onto a faster tractor. For some reason, the digestate seems heavier than the slurry. I don't know if that's true. It might be. But as we start to spread this, it should get lighter. So uh, we're almost done, thankfully. We, we can move on to the next field in a minute. Not that we're going to get it finished. Right, so where do we start? Somewhere here. Hard to see with all this snow around. Just as long as we can finish this before the snow starts to settle again. We just need a minute. Yeah, it just seems so heavy. It wasn't like this before with the slurry. It was not struggling at all. Anyway, not to worry. Because the next field is fairly flat. In fact, it's very flat. And there we go. That's this field done. So it's another field which will have a cover crop put into it. I think we'll just put a cover crop in every field. That's the beauty of a cover crop. It only takes one month from drilling to cultivating. And when we cultivate, we get the fertilizer. Although actually, I think with the other field I did, we got the fertilizer just when it was fully grown. So I guess that's changed from FS19. I believe you used to have to cultivate it in. Now you just get the fertilizer, whatever. Uh, but of course, you're gonna cultivate it in one way or another. Otherwise, there's going to be no more crops in the field. So we'll just direct drill it. Okay, so yeah, we'll go down here. I can't get into the third gear. It's really weird. I don't know why. Very bumpy. We'll just start. We'll go around the headland. See how much we can do. Yeah, I, I don't know why we can't see the amount of slurry the cows have from the menu. We actually have to go into the barn. Probably because it's a different barn to the original. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, but that would make sense. But hopefully in another day or month uh, we'll have maybe over 10,000 litres again. I've just got to keep them fed and watered. It 
it's starting to get very atmospheric. So I don't think I'm going to reach the other side. We'll just head straight down the middle of the field and see how far we get. Maybe halfway. I expect the snow will start to do some settling soon. It's really coming down fast. When we get back to the yard, we'll rest and we'll see if we have any snow cover in the morning. But of course, the next day is going to be mostly... Well, it's, it's all for the next episode. There should be nothing else to do today. Because they've got food, they've got water. It's all good. Park this back over here. There we go. And we're done for the day. Just look at that. Okay, how many litres do we have? Just 1500. So we need to rest. We need to wait for a new day. Will there be snow on the ground in the morning? Oh, that's quite a guess. I think no. I'm going to go with no, but I'm usually wrong. It's a 50-50 chance. Come on, no. Oh, yes. I was right. How unusual. Uh, let's get that time back to times two or something. How much slurry do we have? 7,700. So not a massive amount, but we do have some. Uh, meaning next time we're going to have to spread some slurry. We do have probably probably enough to get another tank load of silage. That's finished though. Deactivate it. And yes, we'll have to feed the cows and give them a top up of water. So lots to do. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.